I'm Diana Adams. I was the uh, ballet wardrobe mistress for 47 years. I was here when we built Jules in 1996 under the curator of Balanchine Trust. But we got pictures from New York of what these costumes look like, and then we had to duplicate them. You see here, we had the approval to use what we used. And for a long time, they said we had the best duplication in the country. Where we had problems is these costumes had originally been built like in the 60s by Barbara Kerenska, and you have to duplicate these as close as possible. So we either had to kind of make the trims by imposing two together or come as close as possible to it. 90% of the time there's more than one person in a costume, so they have to be as close in height to each other. They did the very first dress rehearsal and glass tabs were just crashing against each other. And they step on a jewel, and especially some of those emerald jewels are this big. If they step on those, that can end their career. They've gone to California, to Ballet San Francisco, they've gone to Ballet West, they've gone to Indianapolis, they've gone to Columbus. It's really expensive to build these because first they're very labor intense. You see all the jewels that are hand sewn on those. Everything's throwaway and it's a dying art. It's a dying art having seamstresses and being able to do these things and for the companies to afford to do them. I said, this is one of the shows I really like to watch because they're in the tableau when the curtain opens and you hear the audience go, oh! And you know, it's just this unison sigh and that just, that really makes you feel good, it really does.